The last viability testing to be conducted at one of PNG's biggest proposed geothermal sites in West New Britain province is on hold due to funding constraints. Half a million kina is needed to complete the last leg of the four tests carried out so far. Dokus Tindri reports from Kimbe. A tripod drilling device that is supposed to be anchored into the Hariki Pangulu geothermal is yet to be done to determine how much pressure is contained in the reservoir. Four testings have been done, but funding from the national government has not come good putting hold on the final testing. Talasia Allergy President, who is also chairman to the Working Committee, Victor Narere, says neither has the provincial government captured it in this year's budget due to the focus on the PNG Games the province will host in November. The constraint on the funding, the national government is not funding it, the provincial government is not funding it, the provincial government is only funding it only a little bit for our running of the office. Uh, no major funding due to our constraint on the game. But I think next year we will have to seriously consider it. Previous testings done by the Mineral Resource Authority and sent to a New Zealand laboratory shows quite promising results of the Hariki geothermal. Its power energy, as found out, is of 500 megawatts that can supply electricity to the whole of PNG. Whilst the site needs to be developed, the rightful owners, the Pakununu clan, continue to use the heat of the geothermal to dry their coconuts into copra for sales. Dokus Tindri, NBC National News, Kimbe.